When Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price and White House Senior Counselor Kellyanne Conway came to New Hampshire earlier this month to hear firsthand about the state's opioid crisis, they left community leaders with a sense that more help could be on the way. Both Conway and Price said that combating the nation's opioid crisis was a top priority for the president. But the president's budget does not back up that assertion. At New Futures in Concord, an array of nonprofits and both of New Hampshire's U.S. senators launched a broadside attack on the Trump budget. They say it would devastate a wide range of government services in the Granite State, from law enforcement drug task forces to the Children's Health Insurance Program. It makes no sense to our future to take health insurance away from children and other vulnerable Americans in order to make room for tax cuts for those at the top. Senators Gene Shaheen and Maggie Hassan say the White House budget would eliminate 67 after-school programs in New Hampshire that benefit more than 10,000 students. It would also initiate another round of military base realignments and closures, putting the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard at risk. Critics say even the numbers don't make sense. It's not even a budget that is fiscally responsible. Among other things, it double counts. It says economic growth is going to pay both for tax cuts for those on the top as well as uh, balance the budget. In response to this press conference, the New Hampshire Republican Party released a statement saying, quote, President Trump's budget is committed to getting our fiscal house in order so future generations won't be overburdened. His budget is focused on fixing failed Obamacare, simplifying the tax code, redirecting foreign aid and supporting families and children with paid leave. Live in the studio, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.